Now you do on YouTube. Matt with Matt's Beer Reviews back with Beer Mail. A little jammer of a beer mail here. Got a little uh, beerness going on. Uh, two beers, I think, if I am to uh, remember correctly. And this beer mail comes all the way from Holland. That's pretty fucking cool. A uh, gentleman by the name of Remy. Um, he's actually a beer blogger out there in Holland. Goes under Beer Geek Holland on YouTube and Instagram. So definitely check him out. He wrote me. He said, hey, man, love the reviews. Want to send you off some beers from out um, in the old Amsterdamish way. And I said, hell yeah, motherfucker. Let's see what you got. And this just arrived today. Super excited to open it up and see what's in here. So, yeah, let's give it the old prerequisite unboxing. Got a little packaging slip here. Let's peek at that real quick just for fun to see what it says on there. It's always nice to see what, what, what's what. Uh, especially because it's a Netherlands one. Collectible glass where, hmm, hmm, haven't seen that one before. So, yeah, let's uh, let's cut into this, see what she's got. Um, yeah, this is uh, not the farthest reaching beer mail I've ever received. The one that came the furthest was from Italy, so this is close. Um, actually, the first beer mail I ever got from doing YouTube videos from, it, from Italy it was from a brewery, too. And it's not something I reached out for. It's just, um, you know, they wrote me because I, uh, Via de Beer 32 is the name of the brewery. And uh, I did a couple of their beers, and they were quite old. And they said, hey, we want you to have some freshies. So they sent them off. And that was actually, oddly enough, the weirdest friend, kind of first one you get. So let's dive into this, see what you got. A little packing. Hopefully they both survived. Packing. No wetness. Throw that one off to the side here. And, ooh, that was stuck in the bottom here. Let's see if we have a little bit. Throw that out there. See if we have a little bit of. There's no notes, no letters. Not that I expected any. So we always like to see if there's anything extra in there. Who knows? Maybe there is something stuffed in and about here that I'm missing. Hopefully that's not the case. Let's see if we get this hole. There we go. Let's get that whole thing out here. See if I'm missing anything. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Which is not a bad thing. I guess I would I would feel bummed if there was a kind of note or letter or something in there. So I was correct in the two beer portion of the show here. So let's unwrap these, see what we got here. <laughs> Where the hell is it starting to begin? I don't know. Let's get brute force with this. Let's not mess around with tape. Let's just pop this off here. Do one of these. Bang. First off, we have Algorithm. It's Glen Farkas. Barreled um, beer. It just says Glen, it's Algorithm Glen Farkless. Far and barrel. It's just a scotch. Uh, so let's see here. It says uh, just Brewing Company. Yulji Harlem. Um, established 2012. It's uh, a U I L T J E. Um, Imperial style age in 12 months and Scottish space side whiskey casks. Let's see, Remy probably watches my shit because he knows that's my jams. Um, this is a water barley rye hops and yeast. This product contains gluten. Uh, 15.1% alcohol by volume. So it's a fucking sipper. Um, and it says best before January 2nd, 2022. Uh, so I'm assuming hmm, if they're going five. Year roll on that on this, then this beer is only a couple months old. If you're going ten year roll, it has a little bit older age, but I doubt that because it says it was established 2012, so we can't go. Oh no, we could go five years on this, but yeah. So we have an imperial stout aged in uh, 21 months. This is, wow, Speyside whiskey casks, and it says Yulchi Yult. I'm, I know I'm butchering that. It's probably something. Let's see if I can guess on the pronunciation of this. Um, Elte. I'd go Elte. Elte, maybe. But I'm still butchered it. And that'd be that. Cool fucking label. I've seen that logo before, so I know that I know of this brewery from that logo. So that's the first little jammer you got going on there. So yeah. Take my time with this, man. How many how many times do you get beer beers from the, the Netherlands? Come on. Mm. Number two up. Brute force the shit out of this one. We'll go fat in first. It's the way I like it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, same brewery. Okay. Same brewery. I'll butcher the shit out of that name again. And Yulte, it's their Mind Your Step Imperial Double Stout. 14% alcohol by volume. Uh, Remy is not fucking around. 
And here we have, it's an Imperial Stout brewed with juniper and cranberries. Hmm. And it's uh, aged with American oak chips, coffee, and dry hops with Columbus hops. So please mind your step. That's a lot of stuff going on there for a huge ABV Imperial Stout. Um, best before 2022 again. And uh, same brewery. So yes, two beers. Um, same brewery. That's pretty fucking cool. Now I'm going to have to pick his brain. I'm going to have to be like, why'd you send me the same beer or same brewery beers? Uh, maybe it's one of his favorite breweries. He might actually told me that already. Who knows? Maybe I just don't remember reading. Whatever. But yeah, that's super, super awesome. Thank you very much, Remy, for sending these off. Um, super excited to give them a whirl. Cool ass labels. Cool ass beers. Almost knocked that over. Um, yeah, I might do one tonight. They're cold enough. Uh, but not too cold. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little unboxing. A little, uh, a little, a little uh, Dutch unboxing going on right now. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bit unboxing. Hopefully enjoyed me kind of butchering the shit out of these names and stumbling over my words. And uh, hopefully enjoy me reviewing these. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.